this is first day working on my car. It's currently minus two outside. It snowed last night and it's it's quite cold. Um, now over the next couple of however long it's going to be, I might. My idea is to basically post videos under the name Hit The Deck uh, to showcase other people's cars, my own cars. I've currently got a 1992 Nissan 200SX S13 that I've been currently working on. Um, so yeah, it's basically going to be anything from hopefully show cars, drift cars and everything else in between. So stay tuned and I hope you enjoy. Right, so this is it. This is the list of everything left to do on my car before it's going to be roadworthy. Now, uh, as you can see, it's quite, quite extensive. Um, yeah, lots of them are just stupid little issues. Some of them are bigger than others. For example, when I installed the oil relocation and oil filter, I accidentally put the pipes on back to front so my friend Evan has drawn me a diagram because uh, it's currently pressurized and all the oil is coming back out the sandwich plate which is um never good especially for a CA18 so uh, it's what we've got to crack through over the next coming weeks hopefully we'll get it sorted Running a CA18 DT. Uh, this was the second engine in the first one had lost compression on cylinder three. It's uh, got a stage two HDEV chip in it, so I think it's good for somewhere between 240 to 260 brake horsepower, something like that. Uh, Oil filter relocation, it's got a 75mm core radiator, front mount, Garrett T25G turbo, uh, so it's battery relocated, but as you can see, this right here is currently leaking. So today we have to pop the intercooler off, uh, pretty much take off the entire thing, and then uh, yeah fit it back and hopefully it doesn't uh, leak oil this time around. Right, so that's the uh, the front mount in the cooler out of the way. We've just popped off the bar that runs from the uh, the front of it up to the hood latch, and yeah, should be able to get to the intercooler now. We'll pop those pipes off, and I've been told the best way to do it, opposed to having it that way up, if you bolt it up the other way to the top part, just where your hood attaches to the car. And that way, we do oil changes. All you have to do is undo the pipes and it drains straight back out. So. Uh, yeah, we'll get to it.
quite literally filled with oil. Oh. So far we've got the oil cooler off, we've got the oil filter off, and yeah, just keep on cracking that. That's the reason why it was leaking. That O ring right there. So that's how it should be. Okay. Right, so now what we're gonna have to do is put it all back together again. Yay! I broke mine, so... Okay. So as you can see, opposed to what we had done previously, it was just kind of just cable tied in down here somewhere, it's now bolted through the top and uh, yeah, it's pretty solid. Right, so I don't know how much of this you're actually gonna be able to see, but basically I've got this. This is the, uh, the diagram my friend drew for me so I don't get this wrong again. So basically we've got the center of the sandwich plate going to the oil filter relocation. Then we've got that oil filter going into the oil cooler and the oil cooler back to the return feed on the sandwich plate. Uh, so hopefully this time round I get it right and I don't risk losing all my oil and blow up my engine like the, uh, the previous owner did. So I'm not doing another engine swap, that was uh, not fun. Yeah, let's get this right this time. So we got a little bit of oil. Should do. This should stop me sliding off when I pull it back in. I do not. Because I do not want to be doing this with Zachary Park. Okay. Alright, time to put the sandwich plate back on. Got 
our hoses coming from here. So we've got this one, is the Asti oil. Oh, that's one from the filter. So that one's going to go onto there. And then we've got the one that goes back to the sandwich plate in the block, which is this one here. And again, it's going to put up a fine hose. That's 13. <laughs> However, since we've finally managed to pick that round, that one's going to go to there like that. So as you can see, that's all the uh, the fittings back on. And that's mounted properly now, so it's not gonna move. So we've got it drilled out through the top here. And yeah, hopefully that'll be on to no more leaking oil. Come back down here and then onto the sandwich plate under there that you can see. So that's that all sorted now. going to conclude our first uh, our first post on this car. Um, so obviously we basically just re-hooked up the uh, oil relocation today. Uh, again I've got a massive list of stuff I need to get through and that's just one of many. Um, I think the next thing we really need to do is the uh, the intercooler uh, <laughs> inter mounts. Uh, we need to make them a bit steady, we need to raise it a bit because when we sent it off to have the uh, brakes done about two weeks ago it was uh, it was scraping on the trailer as we were trying to get onto it and I don't really want to be putting a uh, hole in the intercooler so then we will replace it again. So yeah, everything's hooked back up on that, we've remounted the oil cooler properly so hopefully that's probably solved. Yeah, until next time if you uh, if you want to see more of it or like the video, that would be amazing. Or subscribe, it's going to be down, down here, around here, somewhere. And yeah, stay tuned for more.